Welcome to another week of high school football. It's a, another edition of the Fearless Football Forecast. Exactly. Our team of three is here, uh, back again. Um, six <laughs> games to get to, so we're going to get right into it. I thought you were going to freestyle. That <laughs> was second. nicely was done. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Team my, of three. Uh, team my, of three. My, my rhyming is not there yet. I'll work on that. Um, Tony, uh, first game. <laughs> D.H. Conley goes to New Bern, a showdown. Big conference, big game, obviously. Yeah. Another year, that it, it comes down to these two teams, basically. Yeah, and Newburn just rolls on. You know, they, they don't seem to have any weaknesses, really, yeah. um, particularly at home. I mean, it, it's it's one of those deals. Every team that goes in there, you know that they're thinking, we have to play our absolute best. We can't make any mistakes. Yeah. We have to hope that Newburn makes a mistake <laughs> or two. And then maybe you still don't win. They still might be better than you. Um, but Conley's looked good the last couple of weeks. Um, Coach Pascal clearly does not lack confidence. I don't think his players do either. I think they'll go in there ready to play. Yeah, Ayler's coming back last week. Quarterback for Conley yeah. is big, too. Um, it takes him up another level. Yeah. Conley's beat Newburn before. did it last year. Yeah. And of course, that tie at the top of the standings. So no doubt. To As guys. Tony said, I don't think they're scared yeah. in any way. Right. Should be a good game. Um, who are you going to pick, Tony? I, I still have to pick Newburn. I mean, you know, the, the team that is probably the team to beat, you yeah. know, maybe in the state, certainly in that league right now. Everybody's chasing them. I, I just feel like Newburn's got too much. Okay, Jim. Yeah, I picked against Conley last week, and I obviously was wrong there. But I, at this point, I think you got to pick Newburn. They've just been so strong. And yeah. So rarely are threatened. And I think at this point, you just got to pick them. I think Conley's going to give them a heck of a game. But at this point, you have to pick the Bears. Yeah. I, I messed up earlier. I mentioned. Rose is certainly in the mix, too. I sure. it's only going to come down to Conley and Newbern. Definitely not the case. Rose gets Newbern next week. Um, I'm taking the Bears, too. I think, though, kind of going on that, Conley is maybe a better matchup. Yeah. Or one of the best matchups against Newbern, just with the ball control, the way they run the ball. If you can keep the ball away from Newbern. Time of possession. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's the way to beat them. I think they can do that, but I think Newbern wins a close one. I think their defense um, comes through. Gotcha. Um, next game, uh, Jim, another. This one is basically a conference championship. Yeah, about for sure, it comes down to these two teams, Aiden Griffin and Kinston. Yeah, this has been uh, two teams that are playing really well right now. Yeah. Uh, especially, especially Griffin defensively, back-to-back -back shutouts. What do we count? Ten, ten in, in the ten row, I think. Yeah, of shutout football. That's just a, it's so hard to do. It's crazy in high school football, <laughs> but to do that two and a half straight games without giving up a point, I'm just really impressive. Kinston's playing really well. Kinston's got a really nice balanced attack. I was just kind of looking at some of their stats last week. They had a running back, um, Dixon rushed for 116 yards, passed for another 100. Uh, Vermillion's their quarterback, passed for another 150 plus yards. Impressive. Wow. Nice. Yeah. You know, even uh, even balanced as far as their offense goes. Be a really interesting test with the way that Chargers defense is playing right yeah. now. Yeah. I, that's going to be a fun game to watch. I think. I think that's the matchup for sure. Is Aiden yeah. defense against Kinston's yeah. offense? Um, what about pick in that game? I'm going to take Chargers. I mean, they, just, they, have, they don't give up points. Yeah. And until they do, I'm going to keep picking them. So yeah. I'm going to go with the Chargers in this one. Yep, I agree completely. Aiden Griffin defense, I think it's going to be really, really tough, yeah. but can't pick against them right now. I'll go with Aiden Griffin. Yeah, I will too, and I think they might be getting Justin Brown back. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm not sure about that, but if they get him back, that defense gets even better, yeah. Yeah. and they've been yeah. lights out three games in a row, so I think you got to pick Aiden Griffin there. I will. If something out of Division One, yeah. you know, player to the 330, yeah. you know. Yep. Yep. Jake Wright, a really good player too. Totally. Featuring him this week um, with our featured player. Uh, Next game, a, a team that, we'll say it again, is on the rise, at least heading into this week. North Pitt um, is tied for second place in its conference, heads to Washington, which is 3-0 in the conference, 8-1 overall. Um, man, uh, talk about a way to shake things up. The Panthers go get a win. That really could, could change that Definitely. conference dynamic. Yeah. Um, okay. Can they do it? Who knows? Washington clearly is a favorite. They've been probably the favorite in that league all year, really, yeah. and, and have proved it. They've backed it up. Um, defense is really, really good. It's tough to score points. But North Pitt's done that lately. I mean, they've, these past two or three weeks, they've got some offense rolling, and that's led to some wins. Um, so a good matchup. Uh, this is a huge game for North Pitt. Um, if Washington wins, it clinches the, the conference title. But, hey, North Pitt can make it really interesting with the win. So um, a big game. Uh, I'll start the picking there. Hate to do it. We talk about the Panthers, but i got to pick Washington. I think they're too good. I think they're – one of the best teams in all of 2A, really. Yeah, um, I think they're they just, proved it. They're, they're another notch than North Pitt um, above, so I'll take Washington. Yeah, and I wore my North Pitt tie, but I'm not going right. to pick North Pitt. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, Washington's going to lean on this game knowing that it's the one that can clinch that title. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those things they're going to look to this game to win this one. 
After that, it doesn't matter. Um, they're going to focus on this game, and playing at home is certainly going to help. I'm picking the Pan Pack. All right, Jim. Yes, uh, I, I hate to pick against the Panthers, too. They've won four or five, uh, probably the last five now. It's just a nice, impressive run. They, t they can grind out wins. I, I just think this is just a tough task right now. I yeah. think Washington's going to have a little too much for them. Love to see the Panthers get an upset here, but I just think Pan Pack will have too much for them. They're, yeah. Like you guys said, they're just they're, they're one of the best 2 A teams in the state. I mean, yeah. They've just shown it on the field. Yeah, and I feel like their depth. They have a little more depth than North yeah. Pitt probably has, yeah. and I think that'll right. come into play. They're a big 2A team. Totally, yeah. yeah. It used to be 3A. They've dropped down. Yeah. And you're, that's a really good point, Tony. Um, next game, uh, back to you, Tony. Uh, betting field at Farmville Central. Suddenly, Farmville, yeah. we're looking for answers, trying to see what's up with that team. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I mean, that, that was a team that was rolling, and I mean, I don't think any injuries have come into play that I know of. Malik Smith, Smith got hurt okay. against Washington, but I, I don't think it was a major thing. Yeah. Just, you know, can't get a whole lot going on offense. Yeah, it's, it's like, weird. After racking up 50 points, it seems like every Friday, all of a sudden they've had trouble scoring these last couple of games. You would hope for their sake that they would be able to get back on track at home. Um, they still have a lot to play for in that league. Playoff seeding comes into play there. You know, their 7-2 and two record is great. That 1-2 and two record in league kind of stands out. They need to get better there, obviously. Yeah, definitely. Um, who are you going to pick? Um, and we mentioned beforehand, Jim, I think you'll bring it up. Bettingfield is missing a guy that they really depended on. I think that will play a factor. I'll pick Farmville at home. All right, Jim. Yeah, I think you got to pick Farmville. The guy we mentioned is Jameis Nixon. Yeah. A really highly recruited uh, wide receiver. Also, I mean, uh, that's what most players in 2A plays both ways for yeah. them. Um, and and Bettingfield's really felt that. I saw Bettingfield play against North Pitt, and um, North Pitt granted out a win there. Uh, I was not really impressed with what I saw by Bettingfield there. I think this is going to be exactly what Farmville needs to kind of right yeah, that ship. To get better. Yeah, and uh, I think they come out with a pretty big win. Okay, yeah, I agree. I'm taking the Jaguars. I mean, this is kind of make or break time. If they lose this game, like you said, Tony, they're really hurting their yeah, playoff yeah. seating. So um, they got to come through this week. I think they do that. They're coming back home. Um, I think they win. Uh, maybe even get a big win. Um, next game, I think we're going to Jim here. <laughs> we uh, are. Yep. Jay Rose, eight and one after off week last yeah. week, and they're back in action. They travel Southern Lane. Speaking of, you know, what, what could cure your ails? Yeah. <laughs> this is the a perfect matchup for Rose. You know, they get a bye week and play Southern Lane after that big loss to Eastern Lane. Um, Southern Lane's just struggling right now. Big game, uh, yeah. You know, um, and it, it's, I know Rose wants to come out and prove that it was just. You know, just a blip with that loss to Eastern Wing, where yeah. things just kind of snowballed in that game. A couple um, muffed kickoffs, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, they're down big and just can't stop the bleeding there. Um, Southern Wayne, well, we've talked about this, they're just struggling, lost six straight. I mean, they, it's just they don't score a lot of points. Nope. <laughs> things just don't look good for them in this game. And yeah. <laughs> Rose scores a lot of points. So <laughs> for sure. Not a good matchup. All right, Guess who I'm going to pick? You're taking the Rampants? I'm going to take the Rampants. Yeah. So I think this, this is the lock of the week, I think. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Uh, Rose has Newburn next week. Um, I think they take care of business. They're probably already planning for Newburn to some extent. <laughs> um, I think they win. Yeah, the stat of all the stats that stand out here, six total points in the last three weeks for Southern Wayne. Yeah. I mean that's that's it's kind of sad actually. And I mean you mentioned they seem outmatched by every other team in that league. Every other team in that yeah. league, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And then they're there. It's just kind of weird. Maybe a rebuilding year for them, whatever. But I think Rose wins big. All right. Um, last game, I'll take this one. Uh, South Central traveling to Pasquotank. Weird kind one. Of a, I was going to say exactly the same thing. A weird <laughs> game. We've talked about conference titles and championships and playoffs and all that. Yeah. We mix this game in. But, hey, I mean, it's part of scheduling. It's on there. Maybe not a bad move. South Central plays Conley next week. Yeah. Huge game. Um, rivalry. End of the year. Uh, so you mix in a Pasquotank team that – you know, it's decent, but South Central won 42 to nothing against Pasquotank last year. You would think the Falcons are the favorite here. They shouldn't have many issues. Um, a thing that Jim noticed actually a few minutes ago before we aired, um, two home games for Pasquotank. Yeah, this is only the third this home game of the year. Third home game of the year, and South Central has only played three road games. So and a weird dynamic overall. This is a, kind of an odd game, but um, I think South Central comes in as the favorite. They should go take care of business and kind of regroup for it in you know, for that Conley game, get ready for that. Sure. Um, I'll take the Falcons. Uh, I'll take Sean Furlow, mm -hmm. the offense, the defense, <laughs> yeah. the whole deal. I think they go they go win. Yeah, I got to see Furlow play for the first time all year last week. Man, he cruised. He had three touchdowns, 130 yards by halftime. Got the homecoming king That's at right. halftime. <laughs> yep. And then just basically rested after <laughs> half. It was pretty much over against C.B. Acock. But this game reminds me of a game that is on Alabama's schedule. Yeah. 
Western Carolina Your is on the schedule for <laughs> Alabama, the last regular season game of the year. It's very odd that it's that way, but this is kind of a similar deal on a much lesser level, obviously. Um, but I feel like the Falcons will win big. That offense really was rolling. They hit some people through the air last week, too. Yeah. A couple really long passes, one for a touchdown. Exciting offense. I think they'll get a win. Could be a scary South Central Conley game next week. Yeah, definitely. Should, should be entertaining. Yeah, for sure. Here's uh, the thing about South Central, man. Streaky team. Yeah, they are. They won four straight, lost three straight, won two straight. Yeah. yeah. They will win three straight because they'll definitely win this week. I think so, too. So, I mean, they're going to go win with a lot of momentum. I heard, I heard them already saying they're going to win this game. <laughs> but, I mean, when that team gets rolling, they get rolling. That We talked about that three-game stretch where they lost those games. We knew they were facing some pretty tough competition. Absolutely. And they showed yeah. for those teams. I mean, they've all been strong uh the strong opponents, but I think this is going to be a nice, uh, um, easy win for South Central heading into that Conley game, and they'll have a fun, long bus ride back, yeah. Yeah. back to Greenville. For sure, for sure. Um, all right, well, six games again this week, only one at home. So yeah. if you want to go watch, go see your team or head to Farmville to watch the, the Jaguars. And we're um, sorry for picking all the same teams. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> 18 picks, and they're all the same. Oh, well, that's the way it worked out. Um, we'll see you back next week. <laughs>